Now that we have all the apps and the Globiflow processes set up, I want to take you through the process of importing your lead list and setting up the campaign. So what you have to do is open up your uh, lead list and you have to modify or add a few columns to make it work. So this is my standard lead list for out-of-state owners. We have the property address, the owner address, owner city, owner name, and the owner names over here. Now what I want to add are three columns. First the campaign name. We'll call this I don't know, oh, out of state owner campaign number one. And we'll use that same name and we'll copy it down through all the leads in the list. Down to the bottom here and paste. The next column we will add is the template we want to use. Now what we have to do is make sure we have the name exactly the same here as it is in Podio. So let's look in Podio. Excuse me while I resize. Look in our templates. Now we have one template set up. We have the probate campaign number one. So we'll just use that one. Let's go back to Excel, call it probate campaign number one. And then finally we'll add the start date. I want to start this. Today is the October 16th, 2015. So we'll say I want to start this next week. So 10 23 2015. And now we'll just take these two fields, copy it, and then paste it all the way down. So now we have the exact same thing in all the fields for these three columns. If we used a different campaign name for a couple of them, then two campaigns will be created. If we use a different template and the same name, I'm not quite sure what would happen. I'm thinking that the, the last value, one in the last field, will override everything. So that would be the one you use. And the same thing for the start date. So just to be safe, keep them all the same and you should be good. So now let's save this. File, save as. We'll go on to my desktop so I can find it easier. And this is Parsippany cleaned. Save. All right, now let's go into Podio and import these. So what we want to do is go to the Leads app. Click on the wrench. Scroll down until you see Excel import. You'll get this screen. Choose the Excel file. So we'll choose the file. It's on our desktop. And we called it Probate or uh, Parsippany. Where is that? Let's by name. There it is, Parsippany Clean. We'll open that. It'll churn for a little bit until it reads the data. And then we'll pop up to this next screen where it will list your Excel file fields on the left and your Podio field leads on the right. Now let me explain this a little bit. On the right, the Podio fields will have the lead fields here. And now that we could be created, we have a relationship field for the campaigns in the leads app, we can also fill that information in. And that's how you create the campaign. Now, unfortunately, you can't go any deeper and set and create a template and so forth, but you can go one level down and that's good enough for what we need. So let's start dragging these over. So we have the owner last name, put that here, owner first name, property address, city, state, zip, owner address. So that's going to be where we're mailing the 
mailing the letters. Owner city, owner state, owner zip. Now, as you can tell, you can't drag the same field over more than once. So if you want to populate the map field, you have to go into your Excel file and create a, a field for map, where you basically just merge the, three, the address, city, state, and zip into one field. And then you'll be able to pick that from the list and drag it over to the map section. So now we have the property information all set. We're going to create the campaign. So we want to use campaign name here. Then the template goes here. And now our start date will hit here. We'll have to drop that down and drag it over to this start date. These other fields will be populated by our Globy flow process that will default the status, the print value, and next mailing date and the next mailing sequence, which should be one. I wish you could hard code some values in here, but you can't do it, so we do with what we have. Now once we are satisfied here, we will hit next. And this message is just saying that to keep uh, records clean, you should set a, uh, a key field, which means it's the unique identifier for that field. What we will use is the address in the city because that will pretty much in 99.9% .9 of all cases be unique. Let's let this turn for, some lit, for a little bit. And now by default it selects the address, but as we know we can have many one, two, three main streets. So we want to key in on the city and then we should be good. And now in the campaigns, we want to make the name field the key, which it defaults as, so we're good. And now it says we're importing 88 rows. Sounds good. And we'll import. And I'll flip you back to this screen now. Podio won't instantly import them. It turns a little bit. You'll get a message over here saying that your data has been imported when that's done. And now you see the campaign assigns a task to you. This is my Globy flow process kicking off. We finished importing the 88 rows into your app. And now we'll refresh this. And here are all my leads. We'll click into one to show you. So here's the leads. First name, last name. The address. And now this is the campaign that was created. Remember we created OOSO, out of state owner, campaign number one, which we'll show you. So we'll close this, we'll go to the campaigns, open the campaign up that was created, that wasn't there before. And now the name, we populated this field. Globy Flow then took the value of probate campaign number one and found the template and attached it to this campaign. So here's the template. It's a yellow letter. And the status hasn't started yet. We're not going to print any letters. The start date is October 23rd. The next mailing date is the 24th. We know that the next mailing date is the 24th because we had set in our template, if we click in here to the template, that the mailing number one will start one day from the start of the campaign. So now if we go back to the campaign, starting on the 24th, next mailing sequence number, this should be a one. And we are good to go. Now all we'd have to do is, when it's time to print the letters, come into the campaign, Click print letter and the letter will print. will print. We'll show you that in another video. Thank you. If you have any questions, let me know and uh, on to the next.